Not many people know this. Uh, Keanu Reeves, you trained as a ballroom dancer. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, no, no. I took some ballroom lesson. Clear you go! <laughs> what did I just say? It's not training. <laughs> but not but training. why did you decide to want to learn ballroom? Um, it sounded like fun. I'm sensing it wasn't. <laughs> it was. No, it was, it was thrilling. Actually, I remember the, one of the first lessons I had um, when I did the waltz with a partner. And, oh my gosh, I mean, I got high. It was amazing that first time doing a, and, and she led and just fucking, oh, excuse my language. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just like, it was amazing, thrilling to be moving through space like that. Wow. And yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty special. And, and so then we did the foxtrot and some tango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cha, cha, cha. And have you kept it up? Absolutely, no. Okay. No, no. Yeah, fun no. as it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I trained for the first Matrix film, right, they had us kind of training. For, I mean, we trained for four months. And for four months, I'd work with the other actors, and you couldn't hit anybody. No one could hit. Everything was about safety. And then the first day of filming, the guy tells me, okay, kick him. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, kick him, hit him. It was a stunt person, but it was, just, it was just funny that you guys have trained me for four months and I'm not, and then I couldn't hit him. I was like, I can't hit him. I, I, I just, I can't. And then finally the stunt guy was just, look, if you don't hit me, we have to keep doing this. So just hit me once, get it over with, and we're done. It's like, what? Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. He could have taken your head off. You're a fan, aren't you? Oh, Olivia? yeah. <laughs> Did you think he was going to be here? Yes, I did. I'm so I'm sorry. Sorry, I wouldn't have come if I did. <laughs> <laughs> but you were in a lovely white box, so and, and beautifully lit. <laughs> so, Let me out! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's get to it. The first Matrix movie. You know, when we went to see it, we all got it. It blew our minds. It was amazing. But when you read the script, <laughs> could you know things like you know the being suspended in animation and, and the bullet time and stuff? Did any of that make sense to you reading a script? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, it really made sense when I when I when I met Lana and Lily, um, and they showed me a previs for bullet time, and. Uh, you know, for me, it was just really exciting to be a part of something that was new in cinema, you know? Uh, changing perspective, playing with time, and all of the uh, kind of technical, computer-generated support that, that that image, that event needed. Yeah. Um, for me, it was cool just to, you know, be able to dodge bullets. <laughs> <laughs> in this film, you are on a horse. And was that, again, was your idea? Was it another vision? Yes, I had another vision. After <laughs> chapter two, John Wick is running out of Central Park, and I said, Chad, I have a vision. And he was like, what, Keanu? And I said, I want to ride a horse. Why don't I ride a horse? I'm trying to escape. And so he said, that's a good idea. <laughs> and so began the training, because with John Wick, he can't just ride a horse. You have to come off the saddle. You're supposed to fall under it, hold onto the pommel. Excuse me. It's fine. And then shoot some guns. <laughs> um, but, uh, but when we were training, I, I couldn't really do it, and I fell, um, but as you do. And so then they had to create something to make it safe. And so they did this contraption that was like this truck with some beams and then a gentleman on a wire. So I was picked <clears throat> in case I fell off the horse while we were on the streets. And um, so that happened a couple of times. The horse took off and I was like falling and then they pulled me up and wow. But uh, so that was nice. If you try to imagine what Keanu looked like at 16. Oh we no, we're we doing this? Oh, yes, we God. are, oh, we God. are. <laughs> What's weird is you look exactly the same. No, you do. You do. This is Keanu, age, I think, 16. 17. 17. Doing a, a commercial, commercial for... Uh, do you, is it Coca-Cola? It's Coca-Cola. Yeah. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. It's a big deal. It was deal. a really big deal, actually, for me. It's one of my first jobs. And, and it was a big deal. Yeah, here here was, you are. Okay. Enjoy. You're reaching for the finish line. You dig down deep, it's time to find. You really gotta want it. Oh, what? It's to me. Was that an American commercial or a Canadian commercial? That was a Canadian commercial. 
And that was one of my first experiences where I actually had the director, you know, where you have to drink the, the drink and they keep saying, no, not like that. You know, and you're there for an hour and it's like, you're on a desert island! You're dying of thirst! Now say the line! <laughs> Coke. No! <laughs> and then it kept going and going until finally it went to... Anyway. <laughs> because there's something... Because I, I thought it mustn't be America because... I've watched that a few times now. You lose the race. I know, coming third. <laughs> so, what's the... Like, I don't know, where's the ad bit? <laughs> like, drink a cola. You too could lose. <laughs> Jack here, I know you're a big fan of Keanu's films. Like, I am a huge fan of yours. I love John Wick, Bill and Ted, Matrix. Like, obviously, as well, you're a man that is not afraid of a sequel, but one of my favourite movies of all time is Speed. Why did you turn down Speed 2? Ah! Oh. <laughs> um, well, first of all, thank you very much. And, uh, Speed 2... Yeah, at the time, I just, uh... Um... I didn't respond to the script. I really wanted to work with uh, Sandra Bullock, and, and uh, I just, you know, I really loved playing Jack Travin. Oh. You know, I love speed, and it was like, okay, a bus, okay, we're going, but now it's on an ocean liner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> speed ocean liner. <laughs> speed Not feeling ocean liner. <laughs> but anyway, but it, it was really just a the time in my life and, and where, where the script was and stuff. I... It wasn't against any of the artists that I, you know, involved with the project, but um, yeah. at that time, I'm sure we've all had this kind of feeling sometimes when things just don't feel right, and, yeah. and that was that was how I was feeling. And it was almost like in real life you were dodging a bullet. So uh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Graham. <laughs> uh, but talking of sequels, much excitement. Or, well, maybe is it true? Bill and Ted 3? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 yeah, man. Cool. Cool. All right. <laughs> Bill and Ted's still alive. All right. All right. All right. No, but I, I heard this is a thing. Didn't you, haven't you talked about this? Yeah, yeah. They, the, the writers had a story, um, and we're trying to make it. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, like, where are Bill and Ted now? Because they must be, what, are they in their, in their 50s now? Yeah, yeah. It would be Bill and Ted in their 50s. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I mean, that just makes me laugh right there. <laughs> I mean, like, what happened to these guys? Um, but there, there was, there's a cool story. Basically, they're supposed to write a song to save the world, <laughs> and they haven't done that. <laughs> yes. so, so the pressure of having to save the world, you know, their marriages are falling apart, their kids are kind of mad at them, and, and, but then someone comes from the future and tells them if they don't write the song, it's just not the world now, it's the universe. And so they have to save the universe because the, you know, time is breaking apart. And uh, so then elements of the past are coming really into, into the... the... Hey, I must Stop. be that person from the... I have to you're be in the it. person from the future. <laughs> I have to be. Yeah. Oh, I would so love to go see Bill and Ted 3 and you're in it. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to the show. Wow. Oh, my God. Why not? Oh, I, yeah, it was totally Because I can't get in a movie with him. <laughs> You know, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not those movies. Like, yeah, well, yeah, maybe, okay, you find someone with some clothes on, I'll come in. <laughs> The air guitar thing, are you, is that something, if you're ever in a bar and a guitar song comes in, do people just look at you kind of like, he's going to, he's going to? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of cool in a way that it's still alive, you know? But so could you do it, so, so the idea, you say excellent and then, then Yeah, you happen. do that thing. Okay, okay. Yeah. Say, say excellent, just say it. What? Come on, <laughs> say excellent. Okay, I'm going to use this like I'm training. Like yeah, you're, you're, you're doing the movie again. You're doing the yeah. Say excellent! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> but now, Keanu, uh, your mom. My mother. Your mother. Uh, yes. no, she was English, wasn't she? Yeah. And she was a costume designer. Yeah, she was, yeah. But we've got a, a picture. She apparently. Oh my gosh. Okay. I know. She designed what wow. Dolly is wearing on this. Wow. I love this show. <laughs> <laughs> this, but this outfit was in your house. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wore that for Halloween. <laughs> You're not joking, are you? No. 
<laughs> the dolly is famously... I mean, how did you...? There was some room. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Where did you go wearing that? Did you like? Did you go door to door? Did you trick and treat it? Well, I wasn't like fourteen. It's, you know, I was sixteen. Uh, what did I do? I got on public transportation. Well, the thing was, I didn't have the shoes, so I had that whole thing. I had the ears. I had the bow tie. I had the top. I didn't have the cuff link. And then it was the stockings that I didn't shave my legs, and I was wearing these really ratty sneakers. And then I was on the streetcar going to this uh, FET uh, Halloween party at the performing arts high school that I went to. And did you have this with you? I was wearing it. It was winter. I was there. Okay. I was like But no, that. because you'd have to have this with you so people knew just how cool your costume was. I know it was well made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't, no, no. No. Come on. No. Yeah. I want your full attention. <laughs> Will you have it? <laughs> That's a, where did you guys find this? It's mine. <laughs> We're used to seeing you in kind of the, the mean streets, but this time John Wick goes <coughs> global. Now, is it yeah. actually the Sahara Desert? Yes. It's a remarkable place. It was so, the first time I'd ever been there. So when we see you walking in the desert, that is you in the Sahara? That's me yeah. in the Sahara with Halle Berry. Now, I would say even tonight... <laughs> That's not even, a bad day. No, but, <laughs> but I would say even tonight, you are more suitably dressed for walking through the Sahara than yeah. you are... Because, <laughs> like, lace-up shoes aren't a good idea for no, a sand dune. I know, but it's John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> he can't, he's got to change Wouldn't his Wouldn't he shoes? take his tie off? No, no, no. We, we talked about, like, you know, does he wrap his coat around his head. He doesn't do all these sur survival techniques. No. 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 It's John Wick, he's walking in the desert. <laughs> and, you know, and listen, it's Keanu Reeves and Halle Berry, so you've got to think, how, how could they be upstaged? These dogs oh, are yeah. amazing. They're spectacular animals. Now, I, I don't want to spare anyone's blushes, or I don't think this is a spoiler, but there is a lot of ball biting that goes on yes. in, in the film. Yeah, they're so attack dogs. Ball biting. Ball, balls. Oh, right, OK, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Going for yeah. the sensitive bit. Oh, right. <laughs> now, is that just... Have they just put some cheddar cheese down there? <laughs> uh, how do you get a dog to do that? <laughs> cheddar cheese? Dogs yeah. love cheddar they, cheese. Yeah, sausage and cheese. Yeah, yeah. that's how you yeah. train a dog to do anything. Mm -hmm. Sausages and cheese. You don't want them to bite you harder. You want protection, you know? Like, you don't want to entice okay. them. Did you have, like, stunt balls? <laughs> They, they didn't attack his balls. They're, gonna have to know <laughs> but they're on his side. But they're so sweet. They're so smart. Um, and yeah. And so when, once we got into the action of it, it's kind of like dog foo, right? So we have like car foo and John Wick, gun foo, and now there's dog foo. So they become part of the action. And, and even though you're very famous, you do ride motorbikes, don't you? Yes. Yeah. But like a lot. Is that your main way of getting around? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, a little Norton Commando. Yeah, English Twin. Hang on, sorry, did you, just say, totally did you just say a Norton Commando <laughs> between your legs? Because I can tell you, at least one person sitting very close to you is imagining exactly that right now. <laughs> I, I saw that picture of you <laughs> standing in oh, rehearsal. Oh, that's my book. The jokes write themselves, <laughs> but they're not going there. <laughs> But, but you do fall off motorbikes a lot. Yeah, I've had some... I've, you know what, it's a weird thing. I've had some good luck and some bad luck. You're and alive. Some, that's the good luck. <laughs> um, the bad luck is I've got a fake tooth, I've got a huge scar here, I've got a, I guess, a plate in my neck about this. But that's not all just the motorcycles. But, yeah, I've come off the bike a few times, yeah. And, but, but wasn't there a time you scarred your leg? Yeah, that was the one where a car pulled out in front of me and, and I was kind of trying to decide. This was just after I had the plate in the neck and I was deciding as I was kind of about to hit the car. Because I started to veer, but then the car saw me and started to move and then he stopped and then I was just like, oh man, what am I going to... So then I was trying to decide whether to drop the bike or to jump off the bike and go over the car. <laughs> and then by the time I kind of figured that all out, um, I took the bumper off of his car Ooh. and I ended up sitting on the ground and then that bike was lying over there and then my tooth was cut in half and I had blood in my mouth. And then the guy came over and he was freaking out, but I was in shock, so I was like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. But the thing about it is that I was getting, as I was sitting there, a <laughs> my skin was open on my shin. Oh. And bone white is very white. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, so I kept touching it, and my friend was like, look how white that is, it looks crazy. 
And so then this woman who came up said, is it everything okay? And then she kind of was there and the paramedics, and then she was like, is that Keanu Reeves? And he's like, what? Can I have your autograph? <laughs> I'm like, huh? <laughs>